Welcome to the Physics Connection and I want to start out this video by talking about our intuition about the world. Our intuition is sometimes useful, but it's also usually very wrong. For example, if I take this horse and I put it in my hands and I cover it completely so that no part of it can escape, my intuition tells me that no part of this horse will escape my hands. But there is a small chance that at least some of the atoms of the horse will detach from the horse even though they don't have enough energy to do so and go through my hands even though there's no space for them to do so and then I will find the horse in a different part of the world having a lower energy state. This is called quantum tunneling and it's one of the strange effects in quantum mechanics. And in this video series I will explain a lot of the strange effects in quantum mechanics and how physicists think about them. So stay tuned and enjoy. So in order to explain the world, you need to know what are the possible states that the world can be in. For example, if you want to know why someone is happy instead of sad, you first need to know that there is a state where the person is happy and there's a state where the person is sad. And you need to know how the person interacts with the world to either change the state from happy to sad and sad to happy. For example, if I go out and I slip on a banana peel, I will be sad. If I win the lottery, I will be happy. You first need to know the possible states and then you need to know how the states change from one to the other. So if you want to explain how electrons behave, you need to do the same thing. You need to know what are the possible states that the electron can be in. So you can think of the electron as a tiny magnet where one of its states has the north pole of the magnet pointing up. Another state is where the north pole of the magnet is pointing down. And you can find out in which state the electron is in by passing it through a bigger magnetic field where the south pole is up and the north pole is down. If the electron passes through the magnet with the north pole up, it will move up. If it passes through the magnet with the north pole down, it will move down. So far this is intuitive. If you've dealt with magnets before, you know that the north pole of one magnet is attracted to the south pole of another magnet. So the weird part of quantum mechanics is where the electron can be in more states than just up and down. It can be actually in a mixture of those two states. For example, it can be in a down-up state. Let's call that the dope state. So if the electron is in this dope state, and then you pass it through the bigger magnet with the south pole up and north pole down, you can never know which way the electron is going to go. For example, if you prepare million electrons, all of them in the dope state, you make them as identical as possible and you pass all of them through the bigger magnet. Some of them will go up, some of them will go down, and you can never know which ones will go up and which ones will go down. This is the strange part because there is no way of knowing ahead of time whether an electron is going to go up or down. And it's not because of our ignorance or because we're not smart enough. Even a supernatural being will not know if an electron in the dope state will go up or down. That information is simply not there. So another example of the uncertain nature of the world is in radioactive decay. If you have a uranium atom and it's unstable, you know that there is a chance for that uranium atom to decay to thorium. But there is no way in the world that you can know exactly when that will happen. That information is simply not there. All you know is there is a probability in the next billion years for the atom to decay. It could be today, it could be next million years, could be next year, it could be in a hundred million years. That information is simply not knowable. One way to appreciate how important this is, at least for cats, is to look at Schrodinger's cat thought experiment. So if you put a cat in a box and you put a container of poison with it. And that container of poison is triggered by the decay of uranium. Since we can never know when the uranium atom is gonna decay, we can never know when the poison is gonna be released. And we can never know whether the cat is dead or alive. And in this sense, the cat is neither in the dead state or the alive state. It's just like the electron. It's neither in the up state or the down state. It's in the dope state. It's a mixture of the two states. In the same way, the cat now is neither dead or alive, it's in a mixture of those two states. And we never know when you open the box whether the cat is going to turn out to be dead or alive. 
if you make million of those boxes with millions of cats, which is very, very cruel, when you open the boxes, even though you started out all the boxes identical with identical uranium atoms, half of them will be dead and half of them will be alive and you cannot know which ones are dead and which ones are alive. So thank you so much for watching. This is the first video in a series of videos on the weird nature of quantum mechanics. So please subscribe here or down there for more videos in the future. Thank you.